Good afternoon. Welcome to Made by Your Not. It's Anna here. And it's Wednesday. That means it's time for me to do another use it or lose it. And this week I have once again been inspired by a little bit French. Uh, I believe her name is Rhonda. And I watched the video she did a couple of days ago and I was blown away. And once again, wow, I can do this with my stash. And it's a great way to de-stash some of the things that I've collected. So she made little booklets and she has done this before, but she had a new method out of her cabinet cards. So I have made a little booklet with a cabinet card and some papers and cardstock and lace. Isn't she cute? I think this is a adorable way to use up my my stash because this little off cut clippings we all have those and little lace clippings and so so i'm gonna this is just my prototype that i made yesterday evening uh, and i am going to make some of these today and i thought i would try to streamline the process a bit so i'm gonna leave my prototype over here so that i can look at it and I have picked out uh, some cabinet cards. I have picked out one man. And all the cabinet cards that I picked out had, had a good looking backside because that is one of the things that is fun with this is that you see the backside of the cabinet card as well. Who took the photo and so on. And I have these little boys really cute he looks a bit grumpy and this one has been folded sometime long ago and i thought since it's red around i thought i might try to make that into a um, christmas style if there is a christmas style we have this pretty lady big brooch around her neck or is her neck and we have this pretty lady beautiful dresses And this one, I love her hair, really cute. She is absolutely beautiful. I wonder what she's thinking about. She looks far, far away. And that photographer, her name was Anna as well. We have this lady. And this lady. This one was taken in October 1885. Then I also picked out some, um, those are the postcard photos. They used to do this. They took photos and made them into postcards and sent to people. So I have a few of those as well. And I will see what I have time for. Let me just, I hope you're not getting nauseous now. I just wanted to correct the camera. Right. There we go. Just sitting down on my chair. So as, as I said, I want to streamline the process as much as I can so that we can make many of these. And for the back side of this one, the back um, card, I used uh, this. This is um, kind of cardstock. They can come from a photo album uh, and as you can see, I have covered both the front and back of it. This is actually an old fly leaf paper and I thought that it turned out so well. And I have saved it for some reason. This reason, I realized yesterday. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I am going to cut this into size. And I'm going to cut one on camera and then I'm going to pause you and cut the rest. And then we can move on to the next step. And these, I believe, are all about the same size. So I'm going to just use one for measurement. And I'm going to put it to the bottom corner there. And I am going to take my pencil and make a little mark. And I will cut it to size. This is not the right one. I need to use my other. 
my fist gush so that I can get it right. Just checking that it's straight. So how is everybody doing? I hope you're doing good. We are doing good. As I said, it's Wednesday, halfway through the week. That is perfect size. And later I will round the corners as well. So I'm going to pause you and then I'm going to cut up some more back sides and we will get to the next step. I'm back. Uh, I have cut back sides for all of those. So I decided to do six cabinet cards and one of the uh, postcard ones. And these will have to wait until another time. So I'm just going to plop those to the side somewhere. And this is all that I was left with from that piece of uh, cardstock. So that's good. Uh, and I find those um, like postcard uh, photo album thingies almost every time I go thrifting. So I have lots and lots of. And I take the papers out and redonate the albums. So I have plenty of them. So now let's just um, start by covering the backs. The back, making the back back covers let's start by making that so i have some glue paper here that i want to have underneath of course and i have a bunch of papers that i thought i could use mostly music as you can see i have different music scraps here's a piece of um, a drawing of a rose i have some of the papers and i have more of the flyleaf ones so I think these are really cool to use and here is a piece of vin real vintage uh, wallpaper that goes in silver and gold and I think that could be cool as well so I'm just going to start covering them and I'm going to cover both sides and I think I want some kind of book page on one side and some kind of more decorative thing on the other side so let's see if I have all of them. one, two, three, four, five, six on the first card. Yes, I am going to use my trusted Tombow Mono Glue Stick Professional. I love that, it's really nice, it's spreading really nicely. So I'm just going to see what I have and what can fit. Maybe that piece, I believe this is from an index page or a something like that i think i'm gonna use that for this one so i'm just gonna glue on this side and plop it on the paper or the other way around so as i said i want to streamline this as much as i can so i am going to just glue first and cut the excess off later i hope that makes sense I'm using a little tool here to flatten it out. So now we have one side covered with that one. Let's continue. I think I want the music in this one. Hope it works. Yeah, it looks like it. Perfect. And it doesn't matter that that one is a bit crackly, cracking because the glue will make it stronger there we go being a bit more careful as I flatten this one out since it was had a little bit of a crack to it there we go and I'm gonna use a piece of paper towel to just get rid of the glue that ended up on this side that is two done uh, let's see how many we can get out of this one just feeling here for the glue so i don't accidentally glue something onto the glue paper i might have to i'm sorry if i'm out of frame by the way i'm gonna try to move 
a bit further up so that you can see me. And I want to continue to use this piece of paper, so I'm just going to get my scissors and cut this off. And I know I said I was going to streamline this process as well, and I am, <laughs> kind of. So I'm going to do the other ones as well while I'm at it. This is such a great way to get rid of all those small pieces of book page you might have lying around. And that's the whole point with my use it or lose it challenge for myself that I, I will use up the stuff that otherwise would just be lying and waiting for the right project. So now I'm using my cabinet cards. I'm using my my pages. There we have three. Great. Let's flip this just in case. And I think I'm gonna get at least two more out of this one. stick so I am um, as I said it's Wednesday I have been dropping my son off at a friend's for some play time and um, because in Sweden we have holiday uh, it's autumn uh, holiday from school not holiday um autumn what's it called furious vacation from school by the way so this whole week all school children in sweden have time off school and uh, reading <laughs> historically it was the holiday or the it's a cold holiday. School theories, school break. Um, it was traditionally it was a time where you, in the old farming commu community, it was a time where you had time off school so that you can help your parents pick up the potatoes from the ground. Uh, so it was called potato holiday. Back in the days when my father was little, he, he uh, always got a week off to help pick up the potatoes. But nowadays, it's more of a reading holiday. So my my um, thirteen year old daughter, she has um, a bit of homework this week. She is has to read at least, and everybody in her class had to read at least thirty minutes every day, and they're teacher will match it she will actually read an hour every day and if everybody does it during the holiday or the week they will get the surprise when they get back and i'm guessing it's some kind of fika which we love in sweden you know cookies and something nice to drink and so on but i'm not sure it's fun because I decided to join her. So we sit in the evening in the sofa together and read. In I am reading a really nice and interesting book. A Swedish one. And she is currently reading, reading uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in English. Because why not? <laughs> and um, before that I think she read Matilda. That's also Roald Dahl. One, two, three, four, five. One more. And am I out of book page? No, I can't be. Let me just see what I have here in my little folder. Use that. So, um,. Yeah, 
I really, we are really enjoying it and having some, she's often having some candy or something, just a little bit. And we, oh, and we, um, yeah, it's nice. Her brother could not imagine anything worse. <laughs> he does not enjoy reading as I do. I love reading. I read every day. And my daughter kind of likes it, but he hates it. And his father is not so much a reader either. So I always read to my children when they were little. I loved it, reading with all the voices and so on. And I get that from my mother. She loved to read as well. There we go. All six of the cabinet cards. Oh, dang. I want it the right way up. Um, let's see if I can find another piece of paper. And I could have paused you while I did this as well, but... No, I did not. Oh, that's so small. Unfortunately. Do I have any more music here? Let me check my pile of stuff. Yes, that could work. And I hope I have time to finish all these today. Or I will have to pause you guys again and make sure they are finished and then come back and show you the result. That's one, one way to do it as well. Now one side is covered on all of them. And let's see. Just gonna put the lid on my glue stick for a minute while I pick out the papers to use for the back. I could use this, couldn't I? That could be cute. That's one. And I believe I can get one out of this one as well. Yes, that's two. And I think I want to make at least one with a wallpaper. That's three. So that's a bit, that is a bit tactile as well. Let's make two with the wallpaper. Or should I make the big one with the wallpaper maybe? Let's do it. And then we have this one. How many can I fit in on here? Just one. Unless I want to do it the other way around. But it is quite directional. So, so I have to find two more. So I will cover them up in the same way I cover the front. And I will be back really soon. There we go. Now I have found some um, covers for the other side of those pieces of cardstock and I think that's quite nice. So let's assemble this to some little booklets. That one goes together like so. And 
let's take which one is more Christmassy, that one or that one? That one, I think. And <laughs> it's difficult. He will go there, and she will go there, and she will go there, and there, and there. Perfect. So uh, now let's assemble them. And for that, I am going to use strips of paper like this and I am just going to fold them this is so easy and make sure you have a paper that is you know not this good quality paper don't take the um, offcuts of old books for instance so I'm gonna do this I think I have a few more somewhere let me just see I thought I had some paper strips this is good. This is uh, over envelope. That's good. So I'm just going to start with one, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to do is, let's take her for instance. And I want my corner rounder because the cabinet card has a bit of a rounded corner. So I am going to slightly around the corners on, on the back as well that had some excess glue there I want to get rid of that there we go and that's stuck there of course well never mind uh, so I want these two together and I have the fold and I'm just going to glue it down like this and I want it to stick out a little bit outside of the photo. Hope I'm making myself clear. So this is the hinge and this is where our stitches will go. So I'm gonna glue this down on this one first and then on the other side. And now I am using my art glitter glue. So I'm just putting a bit of glue there. And then I want to make sure I have the right way up. And just plop it down and then move it into place so there we go okay I'm just gonna stand up and show you can you see that I have a an excess of paper here that will be my little spine and I am going to cut that off because that's not needed and I will glue it onto that side and I think that Rhonda from a little bit French she did like this but I'm going to do like this because I like that so I'm just gonna plop some glue on this one make sure I have it the right way up And I am going to plop it down like so and press. And of course the glue decided to ooze, so I'm gonna use my paper towel to get rid of it. There we go. And now we have a little spine here so that we can sew in our little signature. So now you know how I do it, and I am going to Pause you and do all the others while uh, you guys can blink and I will be back. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, that took longer than I expected. <laughs> so the postcard is now hinged and ready and so are all the other little cards. And I think this is such a fun idea. I really, really like that. So much fun, easy to make, and a great way, if you, like me, have way too many cabinet cards, if you can have too many. I purchase them, I often find them in like whole albums, so I have tons and tons of them, and then I hoard them instead of using. So, for me this is a good thing. Uh, and I have a plan. I thought that if, if this uh, turned out to be a 
go to mass make i would start mass making these and put those little mini journals in um, as a thank you when people buy my journals i think that is a great way to use them so now i'm going to fill them as well because they need to have some pages and i think i want a little bit of book page i want a little bit of um, writing page i don't want too many pages because these will not the hinges are quite small but i'm just gonna start by just folding things in the right size and this is from an old coral book that would be good yeah that's one Tea dyed card, which big almost. Let's make them a bit smaller and test. I can just cut that excess off. I don't why know why I bother to put my scissors away because I will need them. <laughs> uh, that could be one, yes. And a few more of those, so I'm just gonna fold them and cut. These turned out so grungy. They're not real index cards, they're just lined papers to look like index cards. And I have some markings on this one. Good size. So, um, I don't know. Do I want three, four? How many did How many did I put in this? Let's count. This is a completely failure of dyeing with beetroot that I it didn't go as I planned it it's almost neon pink one two three four five six that's a lot she's a bit chunky um, let me just continue to fold maybe it can go in there no too small Just ripping, and this that I rip off here is a perfect size to make one of those hinges. So I will not throw it out because I am a hoarder. <laughs> of course, I am, aren't we all? And I will use it when I make more of these. And maybe I will even continue to. Uh, make this kind of things next week maybe i can use um, postcards not postcards uh, christmas cards and make christmas themed i think it will it is time to make christmas themed ephemera next week anyway so i will i will see that's a, a german book page maybe i can fold it and then I don't want too much of a fold because then it will be really bulky but I can have one or two that is folded put that in like that and I'm going to get some <laughs> this is more of the beetroot paper it's I don't know what I did but it's it um, it didn't go as planned let's just say like that I want the ruler so that I can tear a bit let's just fold this is grungy really grungy but i love it so that will go there um, how about a little doily tea dye one in in the postcard that will look good with the music here's a piece of address book I'm just going to use whatever is in my huge pile of scraps behind me, beside me. And put that 
maybe we can do like this and make a tiny one up here what else do i have i have some tea dye paper i don't have any tea dye paper in that one let me see how big it is maybe i should just do this and get back again when i have gotten all the signatures i will do that because this is taking a lot of time i will be right back and i'm back uh, i decided since the light was rapidly going away i decided to start sewing them in i have chosen my papers and started sewing in and i thought this one will be the last i will be sewing in on camera so uh, i have chosen some book page some tea dyed envelopes some different things i had in my stash and i'm just gonna sew it in but i see that this is too wide so i'm gonna cut a bit of it off there we go and i'm doing a basic three hole pamphlet stitch nothing fancy here so i am holding the papers in place with my big paper clips i love these found them thrifting many years ago and will never part with them and then i just use my needle to punch three holes kind of random <laughs> one at the circuit middle and one on top and one on the bottom and i am using this is basic thread that i have i think this is some kind of thread you use to make um lace with bobbin and lace so i found it when i emptied the house after my parents so i think it's because it's not a sewing thread for a machine anyway and then i'm just sewing this in and i those two i will not be making on camera because i want to be able to uh, decorate a bit as well with you guys why won't it go through there it is so i'm sorry if this process is chopped up for you if you want me to do a, another one another video with these and make it more thorough just really step by step um, you can give me a comment down below and or you can also go to Rhonda's channel, a little branch. I will link that video that inspired me down below as well. She is such a, she makes such beautiful things and I have had lots of inspiration from her lately, especially to my use it or lose it. And in the center, just tie a little bow. And it's good to be really, I'm gonna show you. I'm just um, careful that when you get back with your threads in the center, make sure that one side of the thread is on this side of the thread in the middle, and the other one is on this side. And when you tie it, you keep it down. Just just a little tip. <laughs> so we have a few now. One, two three four and five that we can start with and those will have to wait so i want to do like i did here i really like the effect of the lace on the back so i'm going to do that on these as well uh, and i'm going to use my fabric tack to glue it down and uh, let's see yeah i think i only have four papers in each of these but I don't mind so let's see what we want for lace I think on them I really like the lace I used on this one it was really cute which one was that this one I might use that again and this is one of the grab bags I had the luck of finding this one is really cute as well I really like that one. I might use it. I don't want too wide a lace. Because then you can't see the photo. 
Oh, I have more of that as well. That's good. Um, something fell down on my knee. That could be cute. It's too big. Also too big. Maybe this one. Could be cute as well. Let's leave that out. That one is very delicate. Nope, don't think I like that. What else do I have? I have the same laces on my desk that I had last week. But I don't mind because using it up also applies to lace. Kind of like the big one here. That could be cool. Or maybe not. Or maybe I can use the one with the ribbon in the center. I excuse if this is glaring. I had to start my ring light because it was getting dark. Should I use this one? Hmm. I think I will, <laughs> actually. On the big one, I want to use this one because why not? So I'm just gonna chop a piece off and get rid of this one. And then I'm gonna, as I said, use my fabric tack to glue this down and I will make it small string in the middle with the spine as I call it and a little bit on the wallpaper here and a little bit over here and then I can go in with more if I need it there we go this is just some extra decoration and I really think it you know makes it look even more finished work through let me dab this with my paper towel and fold let's see yes we need more more glue here and we want to I like using fabric tech for this for two reasons one is fabric so <laughs> fabric tech and two, because it gives you a little bit more time to wiggle things. And sometimes you just has to have to wiggle a bit <laughs> to make it look as you want it to be. This is a bit glossy, which makes it a bit harder to glue on. You don't have to glue this down if you don't want to. But I want to be able to maybe tuck it into a pocket or something or in a bag. And then I want to make sure it stays. Yeah, I think that turned out really cute. That is a good one. Cute, cute, cute. Let's do one more or two or five. <laughs> Uh, let's do 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 let's do her and I really like the, the way this looks so I am going to use it once more do you, if you were here when I found this grab a bag of lace uh, thrifting maybe two weeks ago I when I looked at this lace, I thought, oh, what am I going to do with that? It's got such a pattern on it, and I don't know how I'm going to use it. And right now, I have found a great way to use it, which I think looks really, really pretty. You put the little flowers there in the center, and the lace ends up so nicely on both sides. I really like it really cute and I'm gonna try to fold and press down cute 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 
she reminds me of someone. I can't, I can't say who, but she really reminds me of someone. It's a good way to use up that wallpaper as well. And if you want to decorate these even further, you can put some labels on them or you can do something on the inside or whatever you like. So I think I want this one. I think I want the, this one. I haven't used it, so yes, cute. Just gonna cut it. No exact measurements. I'm just eyeballing it, as you can see. That's very often the way I do it. I eyeball things. Because I cannot... If I have to start measuring everything and making it oh so perfect, I will not make it. That's my way. That turned out cute. Yes. And I don't mind that this is really white. I think that actually turned out quite well with the rose on the back. Yes. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This one might need a little bit more fabric tag. Just to keep it down that's three let's do these two as well just because i want to <laughs> question is what do we want and uh, sorry i haven't shown you the papers i have more of the beetroot paper i have tea dye paper i have um, an old dictionary swedish german and i have almost the same in everyone writing paper tea dye paper this is from an old geology book you know same stuff everywhere. Ooh, I have lots of fairy tech on my hands. Let's do one with this lace and one with that one. Because that those are my favorites. I cannot say anything else. Chop. Let's get rid of these. I will put a photo when all of them are done. Like tomorrow maybe. I will put a photo on Instagram. So if you want to see all of them in better lighting as well, I will highly recommend you to head over to Made by Granat over on Instagram tomorrow and you will see the result. Shamelessly, shamelessly advertising my own Instagram as well, as well as my YouTube channel. I hope you really enjoyed this. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Or if you haven't subscribed already, you can do that. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when I post my videos. Um, there will be more videos coming this week. And they will be, most likely, uh, Christmas journals. I am working away on my Christmas journals. I'm having so much fun. Uh, last week I t videoed a couple of flip throughs and I made use it or lose it and I made a few different things so I was quite tired of the camera actually <laughs> this weekend so I have just had a really nice quiet weekend with lots of crafting but no filming and sometimes you need that as well oh I love that. Really love it. Yes. Cute. Really cute. So, let me find the lid for the fabric tack. And I'm going to show you what we have. Let me see. We have... Uh, this is my um, prototype that I did. We have this one. I love the white. Matches her ruffles around her neck. Really cute. This is such an easy way to, to um, use up your stash. 
so dainty and you can fill those these with whatever you like this is gorgeous i really like this you can see the gilding on the inside of the back side of the card as well so a few different ones that's the wallpaper Just a few note papers in here. This one is the one with the, with the um, postcard. I think that actually turned out quite nice as well. As well. And in here there is tea dye paper, a doily, some music paper, some phone book, some tea dye envelope, and in the big ones like these, you can almost you could could make a pocket on the inside or back side if you like it's up to you so this is my make for today i hope you enjoyed this video even though it was very long <laughs> uh, i will be back really really soon and i wish you all a great rest of your week and be sure to check out my instagram tomorrow for the result have a great um i already said that didn't i <laughs> rest of your week I will talk to you soon. Bye.